look what I brought for the show! No, no, no. No. Excuse me. Stop. Where's the mic at? Stop, you can't. Yes, I can. I need a mic. No. Yes. What is this? Can okay, you just play? Good morning, I'm Brian Steadfast. And I'm Leslie Pinwheel. Welcome to The Rip Off, your source for all things newsworthy. On Twitter, Senator Ted Cruz blames liking a pornographic tweet on a staffing issue. Seems like Harvey isn't the only wild one in Texas. Speaking of hurricanes, Irma has left millions without power across the Caribbean and Southeast. Miami resident DJ Khaled responds to news of Hurricane Jose, another one. We the best hurricanes, DJ Khaled. White House declines climate change being a factor in recent hurricanes. However, the high heat index of the summer was blamed on the small crowd sizes. In Connecticut, a plane crash lands after hitting a tree. When asked what went wrong, the pilot had this to say. Oh, that was freaked out because I thought the stove was on, yeah. The 16th anniversary of 9-11 attacks was this past Monday. Which reminds me that today is also the 16th anniversary of my divorce. And my kids still hate me. Obama's national security advisor, Susan Rice, told investigators she unmasked Trump officials because of a secret meeting. The reason for the unmasking, mask off by, by future came on, so I decided, why not? In this world of sports, the Lakers will retire Kobe Bryant's number 8 and number 24 jerseys. Fans respond on social media, Jordan's still better. Trump's ninth grandchild was born Tuesday. Reports say he's already said his first words. This is a huge moment. Nobody has ever been born like I've been born, I'm telling you. Apple announces the iPhone X, which basically does everything other phones can do, just better. Starting price will be at $1,000, and every line will always be long, so always remember, bring a tent. That's it for the news. We'll be right back after you enjoy these words from our sponsors. Don't go anywhere. Hey, Quentin, can I speak to you in private? Sure, what's up? Okay, well, you know me. You know I always try to stay mutual as possible, and I hate getting in the middle of things. But I would hate for you to get your feelings hurt, and I feel like there's something I should really tell you, because I like you Just a lot. Just tell me. Okay, well, I was painting my toes in the closet like I usually do, and I couldn't decide between pink or shimmer, because, you know, Southern Fashion Week is coming up, and even though I'll miss it since I'll be okay. here. what does this have to do with me, though? Okay, I was getting to that. Okay, well, I guess Kevin and Jay didn't know I was in the closet, and I overheard them dragging your name through the mud. Quentin. Quentin. Quentin? Quentin. What were they saying? Kevin said. Good evening, housemates. Good evening, Good evening Big Austin. Austin. Please relocate to the theater room for instructions on your first competition. Hello, housemates. It's time to play a game called Extreme Musical Chairs. Similar to the game Simon Says and Musical Chairs, Big Austin will give you all the commands to perform while you dance around chairs before the music ends. The last person in the game will be house leader for the week. Are you ready to play Extreme Musical Chairs? Yeah! Excellent! Let the games begin! Are you ready for your first twist? Yeah! Alright, Big Austin says, do the Macarena to the beat.
Kevin, why don't you put your arms down? Some of us are trying to breathe out here. Oh, my bad, Quick. I forgot you had a sense of, sense of smell. Most rats do. Oh, so I'm a rat. Well, why don't you just come over here and just... Congratulations to our house leader for the week, Kevin! All right, Kara, that's why TLC is better than Destiny's Child. Castle Heights, uh, Castle Heights RA on duty, this is Austin speaking. Well, can't he uh, get himself out? Um, okay, fine. I'm Dallas Benny, and this is the lobby of Castle Heights Dormitory at Austin P. State University, and I have been a part of the RA staff for two whole years, very long years. This is Kara, one of my residents, and this is going to be the greatest year ever. Right, Kara? Yeah, it's going to be great, especially with the best RA ever, Dallas. Uh, yeah. So, my residents love me. Am I still getting paid? Uh, what are you talking about? My residents love me because I'm a fierce leader and I get things done. And I'm an all-around positive influence on everyone. This is Gary, my best friend. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not a good person, and you know that, and we're not friends, so stop. Dallas is a thing that scientists don't know how to approach. Uh, he has been heard of, but not explored. I personally think he's a three-year-old that's been stretched out and doesn't know what to do with his arms or legs. As an RA, it is my duty to make this place as safe and fun and comfortable as possible. What's up, fam? It's lit, right? Would you shut up? No one invited you over here. You know what, Annie? You're going to get it one of these days, and I'm not going to be the one to save you. No, you're going to get it one of these days, and I'm going to help the other one beat you. Dallas is so annoying, he makes me want to pull my hair out every time he speaks. Annie's just a hater, and she's always trying to get on me. I'm just trying to be a nice fellow. Did you steal my phone, Kara? Maybe. I don't know. Why would I know where it's at? I'm not a thief. That's not how you should talk to an asthmatic RA. Kara, Kara always does this thing where she, she's trying to get pity from everybody by claiming she has a disease or disorder. But the problem is that she can never remember what disorder she used. One time she claimed she had a growth in her nose and when she sneezed, a black bean from her burrito came out. Then she blamed her on scoliosis. Really? Now that I'm back at my desk, I can get back to work since all my trash residents don't want to talk nice to the cameras. Anyway, I have business to take care of. <phone rings> Castle Heights RA on duty, this is Dallas speaking. Oh, uh, I forgot he's still stuck. Uh, don't worry, I'll be right there. Uh, sorry, we experienced technical difficulty. We weren't even supposed to show that. Uh, but you have to admit, though, I would love to have a booming voice like that one announcer on that one show or the, the Shades guy or yeah. I Hate Myself. Yeah. Uh, all right, you're in for a treat for today's segment of What's Trending, where we look at trending hashtags on Twitter and the most popular tweets to feature them. Thanks, Brian. What's Trending is where I tell you what's currently trending on the Twitter machine as far as hashtags and the most popular tweets to feature them. One of the most trending topics in the Twitter sphere right now is hashtag take a knee. This comes in response to President Donald Trump stating that players who kneeled in the NFL deserve to be fired, also while calling them a derogatory term. Since then, swarms of tweets have lit up our timelines, either in a negative way or a positive. Here's a tweet from Norman Lear, producer of some classics such as All in the Family, Good Times, and The Jeffersons. As a combat vet, I fought Nazis of World War II. Today I hashtag take a knee once more in celerity with my brothers and sisters still fighting for equality and justice. As this has spread, fans have been seen burning memorabilia, clothes, or anything having to do with the NFL, even as far as planning not to show up to games in the future. There has been no official word on if this will continue or if it was just meant to be a one-time deal. All right, we will be back right after the short segment from one of our affiliate stations. 
Hey, this is Denzel, and welcome to The Struggle, where we talk about the struggle of being a college student. Today, I have with me Juan Romero. What's up? I'm Juan. So, Juan, what do you think is the hardest part about being a college student? Uh, honestly, not having food. Uh, I got like three dollars in my account. I don't get paid till next week. Uh, can you let me have a dollar, bro? <laughs> like, please. <laughs> okay, but uh, anyways, bro, are you sure it's not um you being a party animal for? So from what I heard is you you get you tend to get kind of crazy at parties. Look, look. Me now and me after a cup of honey. <laughs> we ain't the same person, bro. Like, so I don't know. I don't know. I can't really answer that question. You be partying, bro? You know where the party's at? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Got to right, we'll talk after next. the show. <laughs> but anyways, uh, thank you, Juan, for being with me today. And if, uh, and if any of you out there are just like Juan, you too are struggling and should seek help. Thankfully, we have the perfect person for that. You'll be surprised what the Oracle can do for you. Hello, I am the Oracle. Welcome to the show. I can tell you everything you need to know. So give me a call and I can help you with my crystal ball. Oh, it looks like we already have a caller. Hello, who is on the line? Jess. Jess, what a beautiful name. The gods are telling me your parents named you that. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm, yes, what can I help you with today, Jess? Well, my boyfriend just moved to another state, and like, he barely makes time for me now. Every time I call him, he's always hanging out with his friends or doing homework, and I don't know. I just think he's pulling away from me. Aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh, I see. So you want me to ask the gods, look into my crystal ball, and tell you if your boyfriend will last? Oh, no. I mean, I definitely think that will be okay, like, eventually. Ah, uh. okay. But, okay. Anyways, it's just been really hard for me because we used to do everything together. And sometimes I'm wondering if he's like doing those things with someone else. Aha, uh -huh, aha, uh -huh, I see. So Jess, you want me to look into my crystal ball and tell you if your boyfriend is still being faithful. <laughs> oh, no, like, I don't think he'd actually cheat on me or anything. Oh, okay, well I... But just like the other night, I tried to call him and he didn't answer. And then when he called me back, he was like, sorry, babe, I didn't hear my phone. And I was like, hello? Oh, oh, oh I'm up. I'm here. Sorry, sorry. Oh. I was like, what do you mean you didn't hear your phone? Like, was it on silent? Like, he's just really making me feel like he doesn't care. And it's been hard for me to concentrate on work, honestly. Oh, Jess, hold on. I think I'm getting something. Really? Oh, yes, yes, yes. The gods, they are speaking to me. Ah, uh, okay. We need to contact student counseling services. Oh, oh no. I, I can't afford therapy. All counseling sessions are free for currently enrolled students. Well, I guess I could give it a try. They can help and support you through any of your academic or personal challenges. Wow, thanks Oracle. Yeah, I could really use that, to be honest, because I used to talk about my boyfriend about uh -huh. these. Aha, thank you for calling Jess, and thank you for watching the show. Call me and I will tell you everything you need to know. Until next time. Take a look at my crystal ball. Well, uh, Leslie, that, that certainly wasn't our affiliate's regular programming. We apologize for any technical difficulties, but we hope you enjoyed today's show with us. Brian, you have to admit, though, I may have never seen those shows before, but I would sure love to see them again. Really? Yeah. Well, who knows? Maybe we'll have regular technical difficulties in the future. <laughs> 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 Good times. Well, that's for us. I'm Leslie Pinwheel. I'm Brian Steadfast. And good riddance. Good morning. Have a wonderful day, oh. Goodsville.
We'll see you right back here this evening for All Things Goodsville at 5 o'clock. Bye.